Today we will be manually muscle testing the biceps brachii. The anatomical position of the biceps brachii is a volar orientation. The biceps brachii has two heads, one long head and one short head. The long head originates on the supraglenoid tubercle of the scapula, while the short head originates on the coracoid process of the scapula. They both come together and insert on the radial tuberosity. The nerve innervation for the biceps brachii is musculocutaneous. There are several actions of the biceps brachii. The biceps aids in supination of the proximal radial ulnar joint. Its main action is flexion at the humeral ulnar joint, but it also aids in flexion at the glenohumeral joint. To manually muscle test the biceps, you have the patient lying supine. You bring their arm out into slight abduction and you ask the patient to complete active range of motion at the elbow. If they are able to acquire full range of motion, which is normally about 150 degrees, then we know that they have at least 3 out of 5 strength for the biceps brachii. To find out if they have higher than a 3 out of 5 strength, what you do is have the patient have their elbow bent at 90 degrees. You provide resistance at the distal end of the forearm and you provide a gradual resistance for up to 5 seconds. If they are able to hold this without breaking, then we know that they have 5 out of 5 strength. If there are weak biceps, many things may occur. First off, we might see some functional limitations. These will include withdrawal from overhead activities and decreased arm swing during gait. Other clinical presentations are that the patient may complain of anterior shoulder pain and will describe it as more of an aching pain. They will usually say that the pain is occurring during activity, but once they stop, the pain subsides. If the pain has been going on for longer than two months, we should suspect that there are degenerative changes in the biceps tendon. A referral to a doctor would be more appropriate to determine this, as a tendon rupture may be more likely. If there is a rupture of the biceps tendon, the patient may experience a sudden popping sensation with a muscle deformity in the anterior upper arm that is commonly referred to as a Popeye deformity, as the muscle will look like that of the cartoon Popeye. If there is just chronic tendonitis, we will see shoulder instability and possibly subluxation. There may also be a lesion of the musculocutaneous nerve, as that's the nerve that innervates the biceps brachii muscle. If there is, in fact, a lesion of this nerve, it can present as a weak or absent biceps tendon reflex, weakness of forearm flexion and supination, sensory loss over the anterior lateral aspect of the forearm, poor muscle tone, marked wasting, and possibly fasciculation of the biceps brachii muscle.